you can take your allowance if you get it, your birthday money, your holiday money, whatever you get, and you can put ten dollars here, twenty dollars here, thirty dollars here. You don't have to purchase a full share. It's the coolest thing ever. You can purchase a portion of those company shares and still be an investor. Okay? Now, guys, I tell you, this is the smartest way to gain a lot of wealth. Because if you start investing early, you set some lifetime goals for yourself. You guys, because think about it. You guys are 10 years old. If you say, Mom and Dad, look, we're going to invest for the next eight years for me. By the time you're 18, the possibilities, they're endless. You can really be having a lot of money in your investments. Now, kids all the time ask me, well, what happens if I start making a lot of money? Should, should I go ahead and sell my investments? Well, let me tell you guys how it works. Companies out there, they issue stocks. Mm -hmm. well, they want public investors to invest into their companies. And there are some privately held companies. We'll talk about those companies too. But publicly held companies will issue a stock. And when they issue those stocks, guys, it's broken down into shares. A share is the smallest denomination of a company's stock. Guys, you probably wonder, well, what's a ticker, Dr. Gretchen? Well, a ticker is a symbol, initial, or abbreviation of a company's stock. Okay? Every company has one. The ticker for McDonald's is MCD. Now, when you get into the stock market game um, and on your own leisure time that I'll show you a little bit later, you're going to be using these tickers to make your investment. Well, here's the ticker from McDonald's. It's MCD. Really cool. And this is the price of McDonald's. $259.52. Well, the market closed yesterday, guys, I tell you. <laughs> and it closed with a negative. You see that in red? We don't like to see the red, do we? I know. We're going to talk about the bull and the bear market in just a moment. But it closed 56 cents less than it did the day before. So let me show you what the chart reads. Right here is the previous day's closing. So this would have been Thursday's closing at 260.08. Remember, you don't have to buy a full share, but you might want to say, hey, Dad, give me $300. I want a McDonald's share. 